Hi, I'm G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries, and I have something special to play for you. Uh, I have an audio recording of my father actually preaching a sermon entitled The Power of the Gospel. And this is one of my all-time favorite sermons. Uh, I don't know how old I was. I don't even remember if I was there when he preached it uh, because it was so long ago. But uh, it was a very powerful message, and there's just a lot of similarities in me and him other than the hoop. He had the hoop. Back then, he was one of the best at it and could do it, but he would deliver a powerful word. And, you know, he was very controversial for uh, back in the day because he would pretty much say whatever needed to be said. And I, I definitely inherited that from him. So uh, I'm going to play this audio for you. It's about 20 minutes long. It's not long, but it is a very good message just so you can kind of uh, hear my father and uh, kind of where the preaching uh, really came from for me. And uh, if y'all pray for me, I'll try to deliver this. And I'm not trying, I'm not on show. I'm, I'm in church. We in church, y'all. Amen. And we're going to glorify God tonight. I want to share this, the first chapter and the 14th, 15th, and 16th verse. What I want to share tonight. Paul's talking here, said, I am debted both to the Greek and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. For I, so as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I want you to repeat these words after me, the power of the gospel. The power of the gospel. I didn't say gossip. They, they, they sound so much alike, but they are totally two different words. The power of the gospel. And the gospel is good news or glad tithing. There's a whole lot of folks don't want to hear good news. But their ears are always open for a whole lot of junk. Amen. When, 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 when saints go to talking about saints, that's a whole lot of junk. That, 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 amen. We, we, we are loving saints. And, and pastors don't have any trouble with saints. I'm talking about real saints. Just the hypocrites. Now, you have a whole lot of trouble with hypocrites. Amen. But the gospel is good news of glad tithing. There's a whole lot of folks have got their ears open for a whole lot of gossip. And they're using some of us for garbage cans. You know, I mean, just to, 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 just to throw that garbage. And, and you know, some folks come to church just to look at what folks got on and look at their hairdo and, 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 and see how they're going to act instead of just coming in here praising God. The, 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 the pastor have a, admonished us to, to, when we come into the sanctuary, to glorify God. And, and we're not looking at how you dress and we're not looking at how much your dress costs and whether you shopped at Lehman Marcus uh, or whether you shopped at uh, Kmart or not. It does not matter. Amen. God is looking at our hearts. Amen. So, so, so folks come to church. Some folks come to church just to see what folks got on so they can get back home and call each other on the telephone and and do, did you see what she had on it? And did you see how that dress was fitting? And, and did you see her hair doing? Amen. It's a whole lot of junk and mess. 
But God is not in that stuff. Lord, help me here. The power of the gospel. So the gospel is dynamite. Do you all believe that? It's dynamic, magnetic, and explosive. If we put enough dynamite under this building, enough dynamite will blow this building to pieces. And I want y'all to know if we put enough gospel in the folks around the surrounding areas, in Fort Worth, in Dallas, enough gospel will set this world on fire. God wants us, listen, God is too big to just be set up in, in, in Bethel, amen, which is the house of God. Amen. He's too big. And some folks can't pray them until they come to church. But I tell the folks all the time, I can get happy any time I want to. Amen. All you got to do is just give me a little time to see where he brought me from. Amen. How many know he brought you a long way? And I want you all to know he's more than a Sunday Jesus. Look at somebody and say, he's more than a Sunday Jesus. Amen. Amen. And, and some folks just praise him. And, and you know, some folks just go to church for Sunday morning and they go for grand styling. And it's bad when folks come in the service late and, and cruise down the aisle and, and want everybody to see them. Amen. But he's more than a Sunday Jesus. Look at somebody and say, he's a Wednesday night Jesus. The gospel needs to be preached in the choir stand. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So many times I choirs, and it's bad when some churches just feel like if the choir, they feel like if the choir don't sing, then the preacher can't preach. Amen. And I, I'm telling you what I know. Amen. They, they, they just feel like I've got this under control. And, and if, if we don't sing good today, the pastor won't preach. Amen. But i got news for you. Sometimes if you got a whole lot of devils in the choir, sometimes it's better for the choir not to even sing. The gospel needs to be preached. Uh, on the mother's board and the deacon's board. Amen. Some folks are looking for perfect church. And, and you're not going to find it down here. And if you did find it, it wouldn't be perfect no more because you joined it. Amen. So we, we, listen, we got, we got, we got, we got the, this side against this side. Amen. And, 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 and I heard somebody say, us four and no more. Brother Jive and his five and Sister Jick and her six. Hey Amen. You got, you got a combination here. Lord help me here. And it's bad when, 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 when folks come to the church, new members come to the church. If a liar come to this church, he want to get with the lion group. The gospel needs to be preached in the pulpit. Amen. So many of our preachers, I've never seen it so bad, so many of our preachers are straying away. And did you not know, I, I forgot exactly the percentage, but it's a, a certain percentage and it's a high percentage of, of the preachers. It might be 50 or 60 percent of the preachers don't really believe what they're preaching. And, and it's sad when preachers get in the pulpit just to preach for many. Amen. There's nothing wrong with going to the seminars and, and the seminaries and, and all those, uh, and having all kinds of degrees. There's nothing wrong with having your PhD degree. There's nothing wrong with having your doctor's degree. And, and you can have all of the degrees on the thermometer. But hey, if, if God will blow on your brain and make you forget your ABC. Gospel need to be preached in the pulpit. We got too many preachers with too many living wives. Lord, help me here. Help me, Lord. Too many missionaries.
Too many live in heaven. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't saying that now. Let me talk about Paul just a little while. I hear Paul was born into a devoted Jewish family in the city of Kasha, the capital of the small Roman district. His father was a member ancient tribe of Benjamin and named him Saul after the first king of Israel. Later in life, Saul became better known by his Roman name, Paul. From uh, an early age, he studied under the most respectable rabbi in Tasha. But unlike most young Jews, he was attracted by the Greek culture. He learned to speak and to read Greek and became very familiar with the most fluential philosopher of his time. They was taught that men should become one with nature and the universe, which was governed by the power of reason. Every Jewish boy was taught a useful trade. So Paul learned to make tents out of goatskin. And when Paul was 13 years old, he left home and went to Jerusalem to study. He could speak 14 different languages. Paul was not handsome, but he was very humble looking. He only weighed 90 pounds. He was only four and a half feet tall. He had a dark complexion. He was bow-legged and bald-headed. He had a big nose. He had afflicted eye. His right arm was shorter than his left arm. But he was very humble-looking. He had a hump in his back. And it brought to my mind that you might be fine and foxy. You might be handsome and robust. But if you don't have the love of Jesus in your heart, you're still ugly. Lord, help me here. The report had gotten out that the Christians were being very active in the masters. And it caused some alarm among the Jewish people in Jerusalem. And the masters were a busy commercial center. And they feared that the Christians would spread quickly uh, from other cities. So Paul had gotten the authority of the chief priest to go down to the master. And the master was a hundred and fifty miles away from Jerusalem. So he got a calf in a man together and headed toward the master. But the Bible said that while he was on his way, that a light shined from heaven. And it shined so bright, it knocked Paul off his beast and knocked him to the ground and, and blinded him. But the Bible said there was a certain disciple by the name of Ananias. And God spoke to Ananias in a vision and said, get up from here and go down the straight street. And it brought to my mind that if you want to find Jesus, you got to get on straight street. You can't find him shooting crap. You can't find him rolling dice. Oh, no. Lord, help me here. But if you want to find Jesus, you've got to get on straight street. And I heard Ananias say, I heard about this man, how he persecuted the saints in Jerusalem and got the authority to come and bind us. But I heard Jesus say, he's on our side now. And I heard somebody compose a song said, I'm on the Lord's side. It make me mighty happy. I'm on the Lord's side. It make me mighty glad. It's joy on the Lord's side. It's love 
on the Lord's side. Say yeah. Woo. Lord, help me here. And he went down there to Judah's house and inquired there in the house of Judah. The Bible said that he anointed Paul's eyes and the scales <laughs> fell off his eyes and somebody at Holy Tabernacle have yet got the scales on your eyes. You need to go upstairs and tell the Lord to wash my mind. Lord, wash my heart. Lord, wash my body. Lord, get the scales off your eyes. Lord, Lord, but Paul, I got to close here. Paul started preaching and preached out a church in Corinth. Yes, he did. The Jews sought to kill him, but God had a ram in the bush. Yes, he did. Somebody led him over the wall and he got away. And I heard him say, the Lord spoke to Paul and said, look at here, Paul. Said, there's a Hitler in Rome. Nero's chopping block is in Rome. Say, I want you to go to Rome. So he packed up his gear. And John March was with him. And he, I heard him say, say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power. Help me say power. 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 Then I make your hand go up. Power. Then I make you leap for joy. Power. Woo. Lord, help me here. It is power. How many know you got it? You got that power. Look at somebody and say, I got it. I got it. Lord, Lord. He went on the road. Yes, he did. And when he got there, he didn't hesitate. He started preaching. He preached until Nero heard about it. Said, go get that man and bring him to me. They went and got Paul and throwed him in the jail. Yes, they did. And while he was there, there was one little window in the jailhouse that looked over Nero's chopping block. And in my mind, I could hear Paul say, said, take me out of here and take me to the chopping block and let me examine it. They taken him out of jail and taken him to the chopping block. He saw blood stains on it. He saw human flesh on it. He saw human hair on it. He said, that's all right. Take me back now. Give me a pen and a piece of paper and let me write my farewell letter to my son Timothy. And if you want to get your Bibles and go to Second Timothy 4 and 1, he said, I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead that appear in his kingdom, that preach the word and be instant in season and out of season. Reprove and rebuke and exalt with all long suffering. The time will come when they will not endure a sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, they shall heed to themselves. Teach us 
having it in ears shall turn their ears away from the truth shall turn in the fables but watch thou in all things endure affliction and do the work of an evangelist for the time of my departure is at hand I fought a good fight I finished my course I kept the faith and now oh Lord now now I'm going higher help me say higher 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 oh yes I am hey The gospel, the gospel. I got to call the roll, and I'm gonna take my seat. The gospel have healed the sick. The gospel have raised the dead. The gospel have given sight to the blind. He used Adam to start the nation. He used Noah. To rebirth the nation. He used Abraham to be a father for the nation. He used Pharaoh to misuse the nation. He used Moses to free the nation. He used Joshua to lead the nation. He used Sarah to nourish the nation. He used Esther to beautify the nation. He used Job to suffer for the nation. He used David to fight for the nation. He used Solomon to inspire the nation. He used Isaiah to prophesy to the nation. He used Jeremiah to cry for the nation. He used Ezekiel to preach to the nation. He used Daniel to pray for the nation. He used Jose to love the nation. He used Jonah to obey the nation. He used Malachi to bless the nation. He used Matthew to analyze the nation. He used Mark to warn the nation. He used Luke to teach to the nation. You John the Baptist to baptize the nation. You brother Peter to be a rock for the nation. You brother Paul to evangelize for the nation. But last, but not least, last, but not least, Jesus, Mary, baby, Jesus, the lily of the valley, Jesus, the way I am, he died, he died, oh yes he did.